And now Fox News contributor Joe Concha is here with his response to the First Lady. Uh, so, uh, Joe, she apologized for this remark. It was clearly yeah. a joke that fell flat. The thing that, um, you know, I am most struck by is could you imagine the reaction if former First Lady hmm. Melania Trump made this comment, especially from people uh, like the panelists on The View, and they <laughs> did weigh into uh, this comment that Jill Biden made yesterday. And take a listen to how they characterized it. Watch this. You think somebody might have read the speech beforehand and said, maybe you don't want to say it like this. Pro tip, when speaking to Hispanics, really, really avoid any comparisons to tacos, enchiladas, chimichangas, alcapurrias. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other parts of the segment proved that they were giving her even more of a pass than what we uh, aired just there. Uh, but what do you think about all this? Well, it's a timeless game to play at this point, right? I mean, given the circumstances, Carl, you brought it up before. The game is called, what if a Trump said that, as in First Lady Melania Trump? Or what if a DeSantis said that, as in Florida First Lady Casey DeSantis? Or what if Carly Shimka said that, or basically anybody on Fox News? Uh, the outrage store to run out of outrage, Todd, right? And the classy ladies of The View, when it's sarcasm Wednesday, would not be so forgiving, now would they? But but this isn't just on Jill Biden. I think Whoopi kind of referred to this before, uh, you know, I would imagine she still has final say on all speeches written for her, so she has to check this stuff. But this is on whoever the speechwriter was who actually thought this was a good idea to write this, and all the people within the White House communications team who actually approved this. So this is just another unforced error by this administration to add to the hundreds of unforced errors for a team that is polling lower than any first team term uh, team in history. It's not just about the policies that are misguided, but about the messaging. And again, this is now a two-day news cycle on something that they very easily could have avoided, guys. Yeah, I think there's a bigger issue here, Joe, and let's do a baseball analogy. If your starter, for example, yeah. Garrett Cole has a great game and then, you know, your uh, bullpen blows it, you know, you need the whole team to be working together. You can't have two people kind of not working. We expect this sort of thing from Joe, you know, we expect the gaffes. How devastating yeah. is it for this White House now that Jill Biden, the voice of reason, is getting in on the act? Right. We, we don't hear much from the first lady. We, and, and that's that's, you know, perhaps by design. Many first ladies, Melania Trump uh, kind of took a back seat as well. You'd see her in public once in a while. I'm not a big fan of uh, criticizing uh, first ladies. Uh, in this case, obviously, she deserves a little bit. But in the whole scheme of things with inflation and crime and the border and what's going on in our educational system and obviously the fentanyl crisis, uh, this, this is small potatoes. It's fun to talk about. My last name, I believe, is is a, is a taco on some level, Concha. It, it's a shell, yes. and you can eat out of it. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, what, what are we talking about yeah. here? Uh, it's 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 nice fodder. It's the hypocrisy uh, yeah. that really is a story Jill, here in terms of the way other first ladies have been treated. And I, I think you're right. I think that a majority of uh, Republicans even recognize that this is not something to be totally offended by. But Democrats yeah. have created this world where every little thing needs to be nitpicked and criticized. And a comment like this, right. uh, you know, will send you into a tail. Spin. So um, the first lady and the president are promoting those kinds of rules, and now they unfortunately have to live by them themselves. But uh, you know, not much of a, a big deal there, aside from the fact that the RNC is uh, t-shirts. They got t-shirts. They're yeah. raising money off of it. They say uh, I'm not a taco or something like that. I think we have a picture we could show. Um, in the meantime, yeah. though, yep, there it is. Not your breakfast taco. Sure. Uh, LeBron James uh, made a comment about Brittany Griner, um, who is, has been detained in Russia, and whether or not. She would even mm. want to come back to the United States. Listen to this. Brittany Griner, she is in Russia. She's been there over 110 days. Now, how could she feel like America has her back? I would be feeling like, do I even want to go back to America? Well, he posted an apology. He got some criticism for that. He posted an apology saying, My comments on the shop, the show that he was on regarding Brittany Griner, wasn't knocking our beautiful country. I was simply saying how she's probably feeling emotionally, along with so many other emotions, thoughts, et cetera, inside that cage she's been in for over 100 days. Long story short, bring her home. Um, does, she, does he have a point there? 
I, yeah, sure. Uh, of course, you know, if this was, again, a Trump that was in the Oval Office instead of a Biden, uh, the criticism would be made directly at the, the president for not getting her out of there. Uh, but, but again, LeBron James doesn't think a lot before he speaks and gets himself in these sort of situations. Uh, he'll never be Michael Jordan. Uh, let's put it that, that way, on every level, on the court and off the court with the class that Jordan conducted himself. And I still can't believe that they allowed him to star in Space Jam, the remake uh, you, know, you, you 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 know you, you you couldn't have Jordan's record the finals a, a nice clean six and oh so then you try to beat him in terms of doing the same exact movie he did and I had to watch that with my kids it was horrific watch the first one kids watching at home the second one never happened like Caddyshack 2 trust me movie critic Kevin McCarthy joining us oh Joe Concha this morning <laughs> Joe thank you very much have a great Thanks, day Joe. see you tomorrow uh, see the you Thursday